I don't even know, it's called a gear gremlin. Yeah, it says it on the front. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another Rider Cam TV video, and today we're going to look at the Gre Gear Gremlin Tire Repair Kit. I don't even know, it's called a Gear Gremlin. It yeah, says it on the front. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> look, just there then. There we go. And how you use it. So we've, we've both got the same one, funnily enough, and this time I didn't actually go and buy it. My sister bought it for my birthday which is great and then it turned out to be the same one as Mark so Mark cannot say that I've just been out buying the stuff just because Mark's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Although you will won't I, you? Yeah, of course I will. I think they're pretty much generic everybody has them. Yeah. They're, um, if it's not called a gear gremlin they'd be called something else because they're all, every time you look on eBay or well, other sites are available I believe. <laughs> I'm sure they're they're they they're all look all they all look exactly the same so I think this is about 20 quid. Um, I don't know, I didn't buy mine, I was given mine, I think mine was zero pounds. I think they're about 20 quid. Anyway, and it comes with beef jerky as well, there just in case you get peckish. <laughs> <laughs> and funny looking tools. Yes. And look at so. that, funny looking tools. But we're going to go through, Mark's going to go through the instructions. You're going to make it sound like I know what I'm doing, because all doing I would do it? is I would be reading these. And this is the guy that looked at these things and we... It goes open it and oh it's a feeler gate oh no it's not it's a massive sharp knife yeah so be very careful so imagine the situation you've got a flat tire and well, you've got I'm something i'm imagining what you mind melding <laughs> yeah. you've got something uh, stuck in your tire what they say is this is called a reaming tool it's like a big drill uh, to ream the uh, uh um remove the object that's blocked that's caused you the puncher and then this goes into the hole in the same angle or direction that the thing's gone in and you screw it right up and down until it moves freely inside the hole sounds really easy i'm sure it's very difficult yeah because it's rubber isn't it yeah not this rubber that you're going to be pushing it into you're still going to get through all the wires and things in it though that's very true mm -hmm. yeah and then when you've done that you take your it's like a big sewing needle you know it's got um uh, an eye on the end of it and um, you take one of these pieces of beef jerky, which it obviously isn't, but it's a rubber... Um, compound uh, or something, isn't it? That we'll use that word, compound. And basically you thread it through the eye and then you fold it so it comes back up the, um, up the shaft of the, the sewing tool, I suppose, is another way of cutting it. So then that, that then gets shoved into the... Um, do you like the me the, uh, the mechanical term I used? Shoved it Shoved. In. Well, I was going to say rammed it in, but... All right, okay, yeah. shove. One man's shove is another man's shove ram. It. <laughs> <laughs> Into the hole, and then you push it so it's complete the the, um, uh, the beef jerky, for want of a better word, is fully inside the hole, and um, there should be two little pieces of it sticking out at the top. And then... Mm -hmm. You use the feeler gauge, which is obviously a really sharp, a knife. really sharp knife. Okay, uh, to cut that off, to um, to uh, um, trim it down to the actual level of the tire. Once that's been done, I'm opening up this little bag here. Ah, so I see, I see what you mean now. So you put it through, and it's angled like that. And then you push it in the hole, but when you pull it out, these have gone inside, so you're actually pulling a loop like that on yep. you out, rather than it being each side. Yeah, so yeah. And then you cut it off, so then you can get your tool out. I think so. Because I was really, I couldn't work out how you could get that out if you'd pulled it out. And oh, then, okay. How can you cut through metal? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then you have this little inflation tool, and you get a selection of valves in there, um, for valve sizes, obviously, depending on what type of bike you've got, I suppose, what kind of tyres you've got on it. Different size valves, which is screw into the, um, to the aperture here, like this. Okay, and it's just basically the, like, similar to the tyre inflation thing you get in a garage. On the end of that, you get one of these uh, soda stream... Um, they do look like soda stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dating myself there, which screw into the actual valve itself. This is then, that can be turned on and off, I believe, like that. That then fits into onto the, the, the tyre inflation, the valve 
the inflation valve of your bike, your tire, your wheel, whatever. God, how many words are in this sentence? <laughs> the thing that you put the air in, I think, is there what you you're go. talking about. And then you screw it off and it, that will inflate the tire. Now, if this doesn't inflate the tire, this kit comes with three other, um, two other little uh, containers. Now, the t you've got three there. Yep. One's got red on it. So what does that mean? Does that mean like that's a superpower, blow anything up? I don't know. You've asked me a question. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> and it doesn't say anything about it in the instructions. The instructions, really, to be honest, there's, there's some instructions on there and we'll, I'll put them on the, the video at some point. <laughs> but they don't really explain very much. They kind of leave you um, kind of asking questions where the English isn't quite... Probably made quite in a foreign country. Read right, does it? Um, Which is a bit weird. Yeah. One thing we did forget to I did forget to mention is when you put the reamer tool into the into the hole, you cut you cut that's not that's, the reamer, that's tool. the reamer. You coat it in this glue. Okay, and obviously that when you put the beef jerky into the hole it seals it all up. But it doesn't say how much you use, um, whether you squirt it all in, whether it's an impact adhesive. Um, so I would say if you're gonna put that onto your onto the into onto the reamer, into the tire before you do anything with the beef jerky, you wait until that is really tacky um, and very, very dry almost before you actually shove it in, because yeah. otherwise if it's not, then it won't dry out. So that is... And that fits into the little boxes that we've got on our bikes, doesn't it? The Tour Tech. The little Tour Tech boxes. Tour box, which is great. And it's, you know, if you think about not having to have one of those um, compressors, yeah. You know, having a massive compressor, I know that they come small, but that's really, it's got everything you want in there, and it's just the right size, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. And you haven't got to worry about it then. Yeah. But oh, failing that, if you have a look in your wallet, most of you will probably have AA cards and RAC cards. So if that doesn't work, just look at the number and ring it. You know? There's a man with a big yellow van will turn up, and he'll have all the stuff for that. Yeah, just be careful if it is if it is in another country that you need to know where they're taking your bike because I've heard stories of people from the AA and RAC and other companies not just them because they farm out their recovery to people don't they mm -hmm. and their bikes have taken six seven weeks to be found and sometimes they haven't been found so a bit dodgy oh, okay now. yeah so that's about it to talk about uh, repairing an emergency uh, uh, puncture in your tire kit it is a an emergency bit of kit, you know, if you can get to a garage, get it done properly. And once you've repaired this, if you repair it yourself, please don't think you can ride at normal speeds on it. It is a very, very basic repair to a tire and you need to get, a, get either a new tire or a proper professional, let's say, uh, repair done to it because it is obviously very dangerous. Um, yeah, so if you liked it, give us a big thumbs up. Give us some description down the bottom. Have you used one of these? Is it easy? Is it hard? If we had a tire, we could have tried it on a tire, but we haven't got any spare tires. You know, we haven't got loads of money sticking around to buy tires just to put holes in them. Mm -hmm. um, click that subscribe button even, and we'll see you in the next one.